Okay, we are live. Here we are. <laughs> Great to see you today. It is Saturday, January 30th, and we are here for your real estate update. I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. And we have an exciting um, show for you today. We are going to be talking about staging. Home staging, absolutely. Now, uh, you're an accredited, Lisa is an accredited stager. I am. So you have a professional here in staging. <laughs> yes, so we are going to give you our five top tips for getting your home staged and ready to sell for top dollar. <laughs> and that's what sellers want to get, right? So um, we're going to get started here. You get started with your first tip there. Okay. And while I get our people lined up so I can see your comments with our live audience here. Are we, are we there? We are there. Here we are. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, good. Yes. Here there we, are. we are. Okay. It's, uh, it's like dressing up your home for a first date. Yes. Okay. How would you dress up for a first date? Uh, the staging tips for selling your home. Where to start? Number one. It's clean. Clean. It is so important. Even if the home is dated or um, has some issues or whatever, it needs to be clean. I mean, top to bottom. Walls, baseboards, cabinet fronts, everything. I mean, of course, it's always recommended. We recommend you get a professional cleaning crew in there who will clean it top to bottom. But if not, you're welcome to do it yourself. But everything clean. What's hard when a seller goes to clean their home is they're so used to being there and living there that they don't even see it sometimes that what what's there but all the dust bunnies the blinds the windows everything needs to be cleaned clean 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 because even if it's dated it's always better clean yes we do have crews that go in and can clean they do an excellent job uh, what would you say a 1500 square foot house they usually do it in a day yeah, it just depends. I mean, I can't, you know, it just depends on, on the, what it needs to be, to be done. If it's, if it's furnished or vacant or um, how, how messy the job is. That's right. We've had some houses that were absolute disasters when it came to cleaning and send in a crew and it looks like a total different house. Yeah. I mean, they clean the ovens, they clean the windows, they, they just go through and do everything yep. and it changes the outcome of the of the sale, the outcome of the transaction, it helps the seller get more money every single time. Yep. So that is clean, number one. <laughs> number one, that goes along with clean. My, my one B here on cleaning is smell. Smell is really important. And sometimes if you have pets, um, you may not smell them anymore, but the buyers will smell them. So very important that um, any cat boxes, the food bowls, the dog beds, all those things are put uh, out away or out in the garage. Uh, so that you can minimize the, the pet smell uh, for new people that are coming in your home. Odors are critical. Do you, mm -hmm. Like Lisa said, you can be there, live there, not smell them or not notice them anymore, but that's the first thing that a buyer will do. Fragrance. It's uh, how it makes a buyer feel. That's so right. you want a good fragrance. That's right. And just a personal snipe, side note on fragrances, those um, plug-in things, I'm just not a fan of the fake, you know, the plug-in smell things. It's really, uh, I generally advise against it because people have allergies and things like that. So you're never going to cover up really the pet smell. So it's better just to eliminate the pet smell uh, from the property when you're trying to sell it. Yeah, keep your pets, but yes. uh, eliminate the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so number two on our five tips is clutter. Get rid of it. It is time. You are moving if you are selling your home, so it is time to go through your things and get rid of it. Um, all the countertops cleared off and all the piles here and there. It is time to go through them and get rid of them once and for all. Yeah, start packing. Just start putting yep. it away, putting it in boxes, put it in the garage. The only place you don't have to eliminate clutter is the garage. It's no problem. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather, if I, if I have to choose, I'd have the house be show re uh, ready and all your treasures out in the garage. Of course, it's great if your garage is stage two, but you know, I, I live in the real world, and so I will always be happy to have the house be show ready and the garage have all the treasures out there and the boxes stacked up. Yes, that's the where it ends up, ends up in the garage, final staging place before it goes to either your new home, storage, charity, wherever it's headed. 
that's usually the final place it ends up before it heads out the door is the garage. Yeah, that's right. Because the ultimate goal when you're staging your home for sale is really to depersonalize it. You want to take down things that are personal things to you and give it the broadest appeal to appeal to as many buyers as you can. You want to get rid of your things in the home so the buyer can imagine their things being in the home. Yes, yeah, so if you were to hire a decorator, the decorator is going to come in your home and they're going to personalize your home to your taste. If you hire a stager, they're going to come into your home to depersonalize your space so it, it, it appeals to a broader base of people. Right, and we've had this conversation lots of times about staging. If staging wasn't important, the builders wouldn't stage the models. I mean, everybody loves model homes, right? I mean, are we the only ones that love mo no, model no, no. homes? They're see, always crowded. You know, the flags for model homes are like, because uh, they're always so beautiful. And why are they so beautiful? Because nobody lives there. There's no clutter. <laughs> nothing in the closets. Nothing the in the shower. <laughs> nothing in the bathrooms. You know, it's it's really nice. But believe me, the builders wouldn't go to the expense to furnish the properties if it didn't bring top dollar to have them furnished. Every time. Yep. Yep. And the builders do a beautiful job of it. And, you know, their sales depend on that. Yep. So our number three we'll tip. Right there. Yep. What's number three? Lighting. Lighting is so important. So you, if you have, you go around your house, make sure all the bulbs are, are working. There's no burnt out bulbs. Make sure they all match, like in a bathroom that has a fixture that has, you know, six light bulbs. Make sure they all match. They're all the same color and they all work. Um, and then just be sure that your light fixtures are clean because maybe you haven't cleaned them. And you'll be amazed at the amount of light that comes out of a fixture once it's been cleaned. Um, and also natural light. You know, we want to make sure all the blinds are up, draperies are back uh, for all showings and make sure the windows are washed. We always uh, suggest you get your windows washed the day before the photographer is going to come. Of course, we always use professional photography. It's very important to have uh, your uh, photography online be absolutely awesome because that's where everyone's shopping now. I mean, everyone always has been, but now really people are shopping online first. Uh, and then possibly doing a video walkthrough tour, which we're happy to do for our sellers or our buyers. Um, so the photography is really important. But to get all the light you can, wash the windows right before they come. Use mirrors too. Correct? Yep, mirrors are a great way to increase light too. Um, you can also lighten up the paint. Is a is my favorite trick. Put lighter paint in in a room, especially in a dark space, brightens it up right away. One of the cheapest things you you can do to stage a home is to paint it with fresh coat of light white or a light color paint. Yes, white is, seems to be the in color now on yes, everything. For sure. Another little insider tip I'll give you is to up the wattage on your light bulbs. If you have a particularly dark space, uh, you normally use whatever you like in your home when you're living there for wattage, up it make it brighter. Just put brighter bulbs in your fixtures and you'll be amazed. <laughs> and this is the insider tip. The insider <laughs> tip. Right, <laughs> right, insider. Just between you and me. <laughs> oh. So our number four tip. Curb appeal. Curb appeal. Now you're talking about the outside of the house. Talking about the outside. So what's the number one thing people will use to drive by your house and if they're close by uh, they still will drive by properties they see come on that they're interested in. So it's really important that they look great from the front. So any, of course, just like the inside, doing a spring cleaning on the inside, same on the outside. So if you have um, things that have been neglected, that need to be trimmed or mowed or clipped, it is definitely the time to do that. You'd be amazed. And also, a lot of those things, sometimes when you get clipping and trimming, let more light in the house too. So if you have a big tree that overhangs uh, a dark place inside the house, you definitely want to do some trimming to let in as much natural light inside as you can. Then of course, um, fresh flowers in the front is always a great idea to bring color. Um, and then patio furniture on the back, it may be time to power wash that. Um, maybe time to power wash the house. If you have moss or things on the roof or you need to power wash the sidewalks or the patios, it is time to give the outside a spring cleaning too. Spoken like a true stager. Yes. And you see I might have said this a few times before. <laughs> okay, the fifth 
And final is the furnishings. The so furnishings. Yeah, so we've been inside, outside, now we're going back inside. Right. I thought we just, I just called it furnishings to encompass kind of everything that inside that you can change. So your furniture, if you have big pieces, too many pieces, time to clear it out. And then, of course, you arrange things like decorators do in odd numbers, three, five, and seven. Usually it's threes, three candles on the table or you know, three books in the book bookshelf, and then you put something else there and, you know, make it all in odd arrangements. It happens in threes. Yes. Okay, terrific. Um, neutral linens on your beds uh, is always great, white or neutral. Makes the room look bigger, and it also looks better in photography. Uh, so another reason that I always suggest neutral li linens is because of the photos. And you'll see, you know, if you're shopping for a home, you've looked at plenty of, of photos, and you can see the difference right away. <laughs> you can. And, you know, going back to the builders, a lot of times they'll use three-quarter furniture in a room to make right. the rooms look bigger. I mean, it's like, oh, my gosh, instead of a queen bed, they're going to put a full-size bed in. Instead of a regular couch, they're going to put in like a love seat. Makes things grow. So you can just take it to so many different levels. But mm -hmm. usually, if you're living in your home and we're selling your home, Lisa will do a walkthrough and show you which pieces to keep and we can stage your home basically basically with your own furniture right right and another thing that is that comes up if you have an odd space in your home in your home um, and you might use it for one thing or you don't use that space we always recommend you stage that space to be something because buyers really can't visualize and if it isn't if it is an odd space everyone that walks in is going to look at that space and go well, what's that for so we always recommend if you have a space like that in your home that you stage it for something. A craft area, an office, a bedroom, you know, a guest room, a reading nook, something. Because then at least it lets the buyer know that that is usable space for, for something. Yes, you stage it for one of those, not all three of those. Like, oh my gosh, look, <laughs> there's a futon, and there's a desk, right. and there's, you know, a, a sewing machine over there. Focus on just one staging aspect per room. Right. Right. Is that exactly. what you would say as a uh -huh. professional sta stager? Yes, I would. And another quick tip on uh, how to do some inexpensive, uh, quick fix-ups to, to your house if you're getting ready to, to sell it is new hardware might bring a uh, dated home, you know, spruce it up real fast. New fixtures, maybe some new lighting fixtures in the bathrooms would spruce it up um, inexpensively. Of course, paint. I already gave you my number one trick, paint. Um, and then maybe a new rug in the living room or dining room. Um, fresh flowers, of course, we always recommend maybe some or, uh, orchids or fresh flowers, uh, especially when you're shooting the photography. It's always nice in the, in the photos, too. And another little trick that we've done a lot is replace the toilet seat. You might not be re you know, replacing the bathroom or upgrading the bathroom completely, but a new toilet seat really can do wonders. And another thing, keep the toilet seats down. Keep the lids down, please. <laughs> we keep the lids down for showings. Like, what are your pet peeves? One of mine. Make sure the lids are down during photography, which is what I will do. Um, but then during showings, too, make sure all your toilet seat lid lids are down. It's just a little, you know, nicer. It is a little nicer. Okay. That was excellent. That was a quick five tips, right? You got more? Well, I have more. What you... I have a, a, a couple stats here because, you know, I always have a couple stats, usually on our live shows here is that 50% of respondents to a national survey said that staging increased the dollar va uh, value up to 10% in the offer, in the amount offered. So yes, it might be a little work to clean up your home and get it um, show ready, get it first date ready, but it will pay off in the end. And not necessarily in sales price, but it could also be just in time of sale. It'll sell faster, which again equals money, if you get it sold fa uh, fa uh, faster. And then 83% of the top real estate agents nationwide say that your home will sell faster than an unstaged home. 83%, that's a big number. Yep, that's yeah. most of them. Okay, question of the day here on this Saturday. Let's find out what that is. Let's do that. <laughs> oh. Hey, Serena, how are you? Should you hire a stager or do it yourself? What do you think? Well, I think you should do it yourself, really. Well, 
Where, depends. Where do you think? Well, it, to <laughs> it totally depends on the situ situation at hand. Of course, like we said, the builders don't furnish the homes for no reason. If you have a vacant home, uh, it's always a good idea to maybe stage the top three rooms, which in order are the living room, the master bedroom, and then the kitchen. Uh, so that's always a good idea. And if you have a vacant home, the number one thing, if you're not going to stage it with furnishings, it has to be clean, really clean. Everything, cabinets, floors, walls, baseboards, everything. So, so when yes. you're talking about staging the kitchen, what, like a dining room table or something, a breakfast well, nook, or what do you what do you mean? Well, making sure it's it's clear, it's all cleared off, or maybe you have a few things on the counters. Um, I always tell people that have all their kitchen counters covered with things, they can keep one appliance. So if you use your coffee maker every day or your blender every day, that's what you're allowed to keep on your counters when we're staging a property. Okay, so that does that, huh? Yeah, so if you have any questions about staging your home or you're thinking about selling or you want us to walk through and let you know what we think you get top value for, uh, for fix-ups you're thinking about doing to get your home ready to sell, we love to, to, to do that because we love to brainstorm with our clients and come up with the best ideas on what will bring them top dollar. Every single time. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.